Hey Wally, this is Dan Russo. In this video I want to show you the issue I found with your website that I believe is costing you customers and money. Uh, first off, two things. Uh, since you're advertising in the yellow pages, I made the assumption that you're looking to get new customers and grow your business this year. Also, I made uh, the assumption that you're likely not getting the full results uh, that you had expected and that you had hoped for from this advertisement and maybe any other advertisements that you might be doing. Uh, if these two assumptions are correct, please continue watching as I, uh, I believe that this information will be really useful to you. So the problem with your website is you have a brochure website. And what I mean by that is you've got uh, your logo, you've got images throughout the website, you've got information on your company, you've been around for 30 years, you've got pages with uh, the different services that, uh, that you provide, more information on your company, um, you know more information on your services and then a contact us uh, page so your website does as much as your average uh, standard run-of-the-mill brochure will do it simply provides information but it does nothing to to sell the visitors of your website and this is costing you customers uh, in, in three ways number one it doesn't capitalize on all visitors coming to your site so people coming to your site after they see your ad, uh, you know, a lot of times for high ticket items, you, on average, it's about 79% of people will, uh, will jump online and research the company before contacting them. These people will fall into three categories. The first category are those who, um, who saw your advertisement, they're interested in your, in your service, they know they need it. Let's use the example of uh, mold remediation. They know they've got mold in their house and they, and they need to get it taken care of and so they jump online call you and and they're ready to go uh... the second group of people are those who saw your advertisement um, they've been thinking for quite some time that they need to solve this mold issue they go on your website they they read your information they they, they think okay this looks great i'm gonna call this company um, in a couple months when things have kind of slowed down at work or summer comes around or you know something like that the third group of people are those who never gave any forethought to getting the mold in their in their house fixed, but they see your ad, uh, they think to themselves, well, maybe I should fix this mold issue. I am looking to sell my house this year. And so they jump on your website, and, and they're kind of still in their initial research phase. They're very unlikely to call you as well. And so your website does a great job for this uh, for this first group of people you know they come on your website they, they see your phone number in large font or use your contact us page and call you right away but your website does nothing for the second and third group of people and these are visitors on your website uh, you know they're good visitors they're coming on and and they're interested it's just that they happen to be interested in months down the line or they're still in their initial research phase and they're not quite ready to pick up the phone and call you yet and so these are visitors that you've paid for and they're coming on your site and they're simply slipping through your fingers what a good salesperson would do is a good salesperson would collect their information build a relationship with them and get them to the point where they where they are ready to buy your services um, but again yeah your website's not doing anything of the sorts and all these good visitors um, coming onto your website that are interested uh, they're simply slipping through your fingers uh, secondly, your website doesn't use good sales copy. Um, you know, to continue using the example of mold remediation, what are the reasons why someone would want mold remediation? Uh, you know, maybe it's because of the mold in their house has created a unsafe environment for their family, and and so there's all kinds of risks in that. Or they are looking to sell their house, and so they want to increase kind of the property value and get get this issue taken care of so that they can actually sell their house. And so these are the reasons that people buy. You know, they, they don't buy based on features. Um, it's great that you've been in business for 30 years, but people also don't buy uh, because of that reason. That's, that's not what gets them to the point where they're ready to purchase. It's when you, and this is what any good salesperson would do, it's when you really stress their, their problems and how you can solve these problems for these people that they're, that they're going to be sold to well and that they're going to be ready to, to uh, purchase from you. And so your website does a poor job with sales copy since it's just designed to provide brochure information. And so again, you're in you know, a lot of people are slipping through your fingers because they're not being sold to. Uh, lastly, your website design, you know, your, your website design is, is gorgeous. It's a very nice layout. But there's a couple things that could be improved uh, with the design. Number one is your uh, website is not responsive. So this is how it looks like on a computer. And then this is about how it looks like on a mobile device. 
and you know everyone's on their iPhone and their iPads and their and their Androids today and a lot of people accessing the web and, and having to deal with this they're gonna be frustrated and and, uh, and just leave the site and then lastly you're not taking advantage of uh, inbound marketing uh, I don't see anywhere on your site where you're where you're publishing continuously top quality uh, uh, content for your for your visitors and this is costing you in two ways you know you're missing out on a large market uh, of visitors from the search engines where everyone seems to be these days and you're also not able you're also not establishing yourself as an expert in the eyes of your visitors by uh, really solving their uh, their problems through through top quality content that you're writing some of these pages are, I noticed are also not complete like uh, you know a lot of them say please check back soon and a lot of them uh, have that and so people coming on just to do general research they're also um, being disappointed by by that I'm sure so so far in this video I've uh, really just been giving you bad news it feels like uh, I truly believe your website is costing you clients some money that you've already paid for um, but the good news is that this can be easily fixed so what I recommend doing is give me a call at this number here I can answer any questions that you might have about how this could be fixed about direct response uh, about inbound marketing I can give you examples and case studies of direct response sites and the results that other companies have uh, gotten through direct response and we can also set up a no commitment consultation absolutely free where I can give you more in-depth detail more information and at the end of the meeting if you want to take that information and implement it into your website into your marketing then you're more than welcome to and you'll walk away with some great information or if you want to hire me to fix these issues and to Im improve on the results that your advertising uh, gets, f gets for you and stop letting these customers just slip through your fingers then you can you can hire me to do so but you're absolutely not obligated in any way so go ahead, pick up the phone, give me a call, and I look forward to chatting with you soon.